Now, the least wise approaches, they really try to optimize the whole rank. What does it mean optimizing the whole rank? Of course, it means optimizing a certain uh, evaluation metric. So we started many different evaluation metrics from very simple like precision and recall to more complex like TCG or ERR. But basically, that's what we want to do. We want to optimize the um, rank and performance directly. Now, um, for example, yeah, as I said, simple precision, which is just the sum of relevance divided by the number of attribute documents or this kind of cumulative gain. Now, how do we optimize this metrics? Well, ideally we take a derivative as before with respect to the parameter of the model, we equate this derivative to zero and so on, we do the gradient descent. However, of course, the problem is that these metrics are non-continuous and non-differentiable. So we can't just do that. That's why it hasn't been done for a while. And uh, again, again, this uh, very similar example to what we saw for the uh, pairwise approach, that's from seminal paper by Birch that uh, discusses RankNet and other similar methods. So basically, uh, NDCG and ERR and user preference are higher for the left ranking, while the pairwise um, approach would prefer the right ranking and the pairwise would apply forces like black to this document. So small force to this and large force to this to make the correct ranking. But what we want, we want a larger force applied to this rank, to this document to push high up. And this is less important. Now, uh, we can't do that because again, uh, the metrics like NDCG or ERR are then non-continuous and non-differentiable. So what do we do? Now, uh, you remember the approach rank net. This is the approach that builds on top of it, which is called lambda rank. And lambda actually comes from those lambdas that we discussed as forces in the, in the previous video. Now, we observe that we do not need the cost, the costs uh, to actually train the model. We only need the gradients, right? those that both derivatives that we discussed previously, those lambdas actually. Um, so we can actually get rid of the cost because uh, the, the positive thing about the pairwise approach that we could formulate the cost, actually also pointwise approach as well. We could really mathematically formulate the cost, take a derivative of the cost, but here, here it's not possible because our cost functions, which are evaluation metrics, are non-differentiable. But we don't need to uh, to write down the cost itself. We only need the gradients, and the gradients should be bigger for pairs of documents that produce bigger impact on our loss functions or on our desired violation metrics like NDCG. So what can we do? We actually can uh, still use those lambdas from uh, the pairwise approach. Those lambdas that push documents up and down according to the uh, optimal position, but we do not multiply them anymore by the derivatives. We just multiply them by the differences in the desired metric. And uh, with this, of course, we put more weight on the those pairs that affect this metric a lot. And obviously we put more weight on the top pairs because NDCG is affected much more by the swap of the top documents with the China. So this can be done, of course, with uh, different metrics, uh, from simple precision to complex ERR and, and other metrics. And uh, basically, it empirically was shown to really optimize those IR metrics. And these approaches are really used still nowadays, although they were proposed in 2010. And uh, recently, there was even some theoretical proof that Lambda Rank optimizes some lower bound on uh, certain metrics. Well. Importantly, we know that empirically, this approach really optimizes uh, metrics that are used here instead of uh, costs. So uh, just for completeness, we will also talk about two other least-wise methods uh, very briefly. So uh, I have to say that that lambda rank method is still one of the state of the art. And the, let's say there is also lambda mark methods method on top of it that just uses multiple additive regression trees 
but the ID is exactly the same as Lambda rank. So basically, if you implement Lambda rank, you can easily move to Lambda Mart, and then you have the state of the art learning rank method. So least net and least uh, maximum likelihood estimation, they try to still go theoretical. So they try to create uh, models uh, that are differentiable. So for example, um, we can use the black and loose distribution where the probability of the document is this function here, again, kind of soft max, uh, where SI is a score, SIJ is a score produced by our ranking function. Now, why do we need this model? Because for example, if we want to, um, to have a certain ranking, we have four items. And if we want this particular ranking, then the probability of this particular ranking will be this under, under the model, uh, under the placket loose distribution. Um, and then uh, basically we can then take derivatives of this and we can optimize uh, this things. Um, then, yeah, we, we can use the, since these are distributions, we can use uh, Cal divergence between two distributions. Um, but, well, if we can consider all the permutations and we need to choose the the best permutation out of those all permutations. Of course, this is very costly. Uh, we can empirically choose a certain permutation, or we can just consider top K documents and uh, make all the permutations of those and choose the best. Uh, but, well, it's more theoretical. So, well, uh, mathematically uh, elegant, but less efficient. And uh, the other approach, uh, is least uh, maximum likelihood estimation. It basically can use the probability of ideal permutation based on the ground truth. Again, you consider all the permutation, you have the ground truth and you compare uh, the two and you, you choose the best, uh, well, maximum likelihood estimation approach. Um, and but the problem is, of course, we have categorical labels and many documents can be labeled as two or four, zero, and then, um, well, the permutations become tricky in that. But just for completeness, we want you to know that these two methods exist and they're also least-wise. That means they try to optimize the whole ranking uh, compared to point-wise or pair-wise approaches. 